Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm heading for Dippers um, along a stretch which is actually unknown to me. Um, this is close to where I live, never been here before and I've done a bit of recce work here the last few weeks and it's quite a lot of dipper activity. So got up early this morning and heading out along here for the morning, hopefully about four hours. Have a sesh, hopefully get some luck with some um, dippers and wags all being well. Um, I don't think I've really actually ever focused on dippers in Cornwall because where I live on the Lizard, there's kind of lack of nice wide streams like this. You get the odd dipper here and there, but nothing that's regular. So I'm um, going to set up here. Got a my good old trusty ground roll mat. <clears throat> got the uh, beanbag support and I've got the tripod there as well. Going to set up here, nice view point up through the river and hopefully we'll get some luck with some dippers. Right, time to get the kit out and get amongst it. Found quite a nice position here looking right up the river. Um, so today I'm using the Canon R3 and the 500 with no telly today. Lights pretty good, overflown by a pigeon. Um, I've got it in the bag which I'll probably stick it on later but the minute because the sun's not fully up I'm gonna just go with straight 500 at the moment. Um, I've got a nice scattering of rocks just in front of me here. A little bit to poo on top so obviously the uh, wags and dippers have been in and hopefully we'll get to see one flipping up and down the river maybe get a good couple shots in the bag hopefully um, and then probably stay here for an hour and then just move up the river a bit more just off a, a known path here um, I don't want to be disrupted by dogs too much dogs come up to sniff my feet the camera um, yeah give me a good old bark I expect um, but yeah so stay here for an hour see what happens and then move on So I moved position now and uh, found a, a cracking location here. Um, a nice bit of light coming in from behind. And it's a lovely viewpoint here with a little bit of wash, creating a nice bit of motion blur, hopefully. Um, and some lovely mossy rocks there. I've just seen two dippers that were along this stretch a moment ago. Um, so hoping this is gonna be a great spot. They move further up around the corner and hopefully they'll be back this is the view I've got as you can see pretty lovely spot so guys some of you know that um, I'm now running dipper workshops this is one of the locations I'll be doing the workshop so if any of you fancy um, doing a workshop with me on dippers you know please just get in contact leave me a comment you know email me um, through the website etc just or give me a bell and um, we can go from there but um, i will only take really one but possibly maximum of two people um, on the dipper workshop it's a wonderful location um, and the dippers are thriving along this stretch here so yeah please get in contact guys and um, we'll go from there such a wonderful day being here along the river, so relaxing, just sitting here, chilling out. And what I've done here, as always, that low, intimate aspect shot, nice low to the water, and hopefully dippers come in, you get a nice few shots of them, just foraging and feeding along the river. Anyway, time to sit quiet and uh, keep my head down, and hopefully we'll get some dippers in. So we've just had the 
first dipper. Um, looks like the male in came right in on a rock and it's a perfect rock while I saw with a bit of poo on it and there was a bit of vegetation sticking out the way so I just didn't pull it out I just flattened it down a little bit just so I could get the corner of the rock and lo and behold it came straight in on the rock at the moment it's lovely because early on now they haven't actually started breeding yet but they're calling in their breeding song and it is absolutely fantastic and the males there singing away actively up and down the river calling away and there was another dipper when I came along the path so I'm assuming that could be um, either a, a rival male or potential female um, but lovely to see got a little bit of footage there and some and some shots as well I've just now stuck the 1.4 telly on um, so I've got a few of the um, shots in the bag already and now I'm gonna get that little bit tighter shot um, got a nice bit of water movement coming through there but off oh, chuffed a bit it's a long stretch of river and you know to get them landing in front of you like that it is fantastic for a site that I've only visited probably four times um, for a recce just trying to work out um, where the dippers are most active but I am absolutely over the moon with that that's just lovely to see and uh, I hope the images have come out okay but uh, fingers crossed the uh, dipper will come back and we'll get a bit more interaction maybe with uh, a rival male or maybe a potential mate So I just had three dippers absolutely winging it past here so so quick like literally one of them I could pick the wing beats up in my left ear there absolutely superb so one went straight down another one straight after and then a slight delay and then another one went shooting down the bottom looks like a bit of sort of territorial behavior possibly two males and a female there but oh, I was amazing literally calling all the way down that little zit, zit, zit call as they go down and oh it's fantastic I really just heard the wings the, the speed they go is incredible and I literally just glanced and I could just see them disappearing straight down the bottom winging it around the corner job done off they went so I'm hoping they'll come back up or maybe there's some other dippers up the top end but that's three that's the most I've seen um, in one go here so far so um, that's really promising um, it looks like some really early territorial behavior there with possibly a little bit of um, mating and and the call that I heard earlier now I don't hear that very often at all it's a beautiful song that you don't always hear when they're displaying but early in the year like this now sort of tail end of February early March this is the sort of thing they'll do now announcing their territory and their stretch of the river but uh, yeah head back down stay still and hopefully they didn't make me on the way down I kind of had my head down stayed still and hopefully they haven't spotted me but um, anyway back to it well chuffed I don't know if you heard that but um, the dipper just literally was in front again and uh, didn't stay for long this time and then literally shot off down I don't know if you could pick it up on the camera if my mic here would pick it up but it zipped down beside me here um, and whether or not you'd be able to pick that up on the camera I don't know but that was fantastic um, seems to be an awful lot of activity here it's, it's lovely no grey wagtails yet but I just had a little wren in um, just foraging around under like old undercut root system of a tree there got a few shots of it in a little bit of video but it's not particularly great but uh, lovely to see it foraging around it it hopped across onto one of the rocks and then hopped across to the other side and then in underneath but um oh, nice to see something a bit different and hopefully we hold out for that gray wag but that was fantastic to see the dipper there again They're such amazing birds and they look so so good
Just had two dippers then. Go straight up past. I wonder where number three is. Are they going to come back? Amazing. I just captured this wonderful sequence um, with a wren just foraging. Um, on the rocks right near the water's edge. Lovely few shots of it there, just feeding. And then a nice little picture of it, um, just right literally plucking um, insects out of the water. And then I got a lovely shot of it actually plucking an insect that flew right towards it. Mouth open, gulp, straight in. Um, fantastic little sequence there, shot at um, 4K 120. Um, yeah, marvellous, um, really pleased with that. So. You know, we've had the grey wagtail in briefly as well now. Um, got, just got a shot of that on the rock and uh, we've had the wren in, we've had the dippers in as well. So yeah, fantastic. Another kind of hour to go and then uh, head home and that's a morning sesh done. But I've absolutely loved it so far. Um, hopefully last push, um, may see uh, a few more dippers coming through, all being well. So guys, that concludes my morning session down on the river at this top spot, actually. It's absolutely lovely down here. The weather's been cracking. It's getting a bit cloudy now, so I'm gonna head home. But it just goes to show, if you do a bit of recce work for things like dippers, wagtails, along a river, couple trips, just suss it out, look for the signs, the rocks, the poo, an area that's quite open with lots of boulders around, not too deep water, just an ideal area, really and just case it out, do your work, homework, you come to a place, you get set up, and then away you go. Okay, it's just as simple as that. I've really pleased today. Seen three dippers mooching up and down, seen the wagtails, seen the wren, um, seen some other bird life as well around the area. And it, you know, it's been absolutely fantastic spending a time in this sort of conditions really, in this early part of the year. 
um, just before spring kicks in is, is fantastic. And I, and I do believe that this is going to be a spot that I'm going to come back to time and time again. But uh, also remember, guys, as well, you know, just with your photography, just, you know, get down low, as I said before, get a nice eye to eye with your subject. And just rather than just get, you know, set your shutter speed quite high, so you get a sharp shot. Sometimes experiment, moving water, moving foliage. If the bird's fairly static, you know, with slow shutter speeds, you know, and then maybe get a faster shutter speed if you want the water pouring over, just to freeze frame it, catching an insect in flight, etc. Thanks for coming along with me along the river uh, for this morning session. For those guys who do support me on the channel, thanks as always very much indeed for your continued support. You know, it really does make a difference getting those likes, getting those comments and getting that interaction with you guys as well. Um, you know, it really does make all the difference. But uh, as always, guys, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you all next time.